If you know you are called for Biafra freedom, stand up. That is what this song is telling you. And I appreciate my brother Edmond Sumado who dedicated this song for Biafra, for Mazuna, the Colonel, Prime Minister, and those that we are called for Biafra restoration. The song says you should stand up if you are born for Biafra restoration. Stand up, stop sleeping. Don't be, um, how would I use to put it? Stand up. Good morning to you anywhere you are watching Linda's TV show from. If you like this content, if you like this platform, if you like what we are doing here, oh my sweetheart, you are welcome. Kindly subscribe. Put on your notification bell to all notification. This will enable you to know when we upload new video in this platform. I want to put a disclaimer that here we do not preach misleading information, hate speech, violence, or trying to instigate war. We are only here to inform, educate, sanitize the members of the public about what is happening in the globe. And I seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating and managing this wonderful platform that we are using. We react to all forms of video. Before I dive into today's video, I want to wish Obata Obie Ah, can't you get a dick and then bonad and they get it? Obata Obie Happy birthday, welcome. Sunday. If you are watching this video, celebrate our unsolvable mathematics, the Prime Minister Odogu Hey, 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 Prime Minister, I celebrate you today. Upload the dog, my voice in a heart, I voice be wishing weapon. It's an informal dog, my Tenagaka. The Prime Minister of Biafra Republic Government in Exile in the person of Mazi Simon Epa Njoko I, Linda's TV show, celebrate you today as you celebrate new life. Almighty Chukwo Kikabiyama bless you, protect you, continue to empower you with more wisdom so that you will bring God's to the promised land. I want you to celebrate the Prime Minister. I don't know is that I celebrate him. He deserves it. He is a great man. So my dear people, I want you to watch this video, share it. In this video, our brother, Biafra brother that was born in another land, Mayegu Diaries. Not following Mayegu, your name is sorry. If you want to know anything about Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Go and follow Mayegu Diary. In this video, he made a lot of exposition. He talked about why they refused to release Mazin Nandekano. Watch this video. If there is something he said that you do not like, of course, you are free to criticize, but do it always constructively. And there is something he said. You know, since Mazin Nandekano was kidnapped, things are going on. Some people want you to side this way. Some people want you to side the other way. And if you notice, sometimes I hear some people say, my Mayegu is not talking about Mazin Nandekano. Why is he not talking about people that sold him or people that did this? He remained neutral. He said that it's only when Mazin Nandekano comes out that he is going to ask him what happened. That he doesn't want to point finger or, you know, allowing people to drag him. But in this video, he talked about why the zoo government cannot or refuses to grant Mazin Nandekano bail or 
release him. Let's watch. Saying that your faith and belief, based on the love that you have for Nigeria, be as well as uh, your expectation that Nigeria can walk. My ego, Nigeria can walk. My ego, honestly, Nigeria can I know, I know. I know. Oh, you are naive. I like Moko Moko. Oh, Moko Moko. But they will never let you experience that because if it has happened, it would have been a different thing. Do you know people that will? Do you know people that swore that just one, just one year alone, just one year of Bokwari being the president of Nigeria, one year, all the looters, all the loot, everything. Nigeria will, will Nigeria will see what to set, reset. There are those who are actually so educated people who are so confident, who are so, you know, what Nigeria needs is a strong man. Now they know they talk about strong man anymore. What Nigeria needs now is uh, a compassionate leader. Anyway, Sha, what I'm trying to say is that uh, we will never know. So I'm going to continue to believe that you are naive. Thinking, eh? That Nigeria can walk. And it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful to see some of you, especially young people. And you put that energy in it. No, my ego, let me tell you something. At least, <clears throat> see, I am one of those who believe that. Peter Obi can block the loopholes, the stealing to some extent. I am one of those who believe that. In fact, I am one of those who believe that. If Nigeria is to be saved temporarily and all this hunger, starvation and all of this should be sort of, a, you know, a little bit abated. Somebody need to put a plug on how they are, what? How they are cargoing or shipping out your, your money. Yeah, just temporarily for like a year. Okay. That will still be hardship. But it's going to be at a level where, you know, like it's not going to be going on, no, 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 like that. I do believe that, but that will never save Nigeria because uh, the problem of Nigeria, uh, the cracking problem of Nigeria is beyond just the hunger or the hunger you are talking about. We need good governance. We need to stop marginalization. You have no idea what you are talking about. And unless, honestly, eh, I am too tired to explain it to you again and again. But life, they say, is a teacher. The more you live, the more you learn. Yeah? Before the Otin turned to Wahala, before fight started, listen to this other part. Obedient versus the Agbadurians. For five seconds. Out me is not my style, but if it works uh, for some people, hey, I am I'm a live and let live kind of guy. I would stay in my own lane, advocate for policies, principles, ideologies, and I walk that line. But I'll say this to you. There's none of us here that doesn't want Nigeria to progress, prosper, um, I equally heard something very false talking about obedience jubilating that soldiers were killed. I don't think that's true. If there's anything, there's been a lot of outrage and emotional outburst. You can probably address the way it's being communicated as not being mature. But then all of that aside, I think, you know, when people stick to these labels, you know, they try to, you know, even on my side, you know, Agbado warrior, you know, Ronu, I hear all these things. I don't like, I don't like some of that exchange. I don't like it because... For me, I prefer civil politics. I want to argue with you. I want to, you know, Doug is a guy I've been dragging. I mean, me and Doug have been dragging since Clubhouse days, right? I mean, he's my guy. If I meet him at an, at an airport or in the lounge, I'll buy him a bottle of beer. That's the kind of politics I want to subscribe to. Not politics of hate, bitterness. Peter will be first of all, is who you people should look at and say, you know what? Maybe obedience are truly different. The man doesn't do any of these negative things you people go painting every day. Yes, you may hear some of the loud voices, but those loud voices don't really represent the attitude of the average individual in our camp. So again, I, I want to just dispel some of these myths. I'm here to debate issues. Uh, somebody talked about social media bill banning free speech or limiting what people can post. First of all, you should be ashamed of yourself because Nigeria, we should be advocating for good governance. How do we cut cost of governance? How do we make sure we are jailing corrupt individuals? How are we putting checks and balances, making sure that again, National Assembly, Senate is doing their due diligence with spending our money judiciously. So there are a lot of issues we have. If you can go back to this Nigeria Delta issue with the conflict you're seeing there today, you have militants being paid $4 billion a month. The likes of government, Tompolo, 
and his crew. Those are the issues we ought to focus on. How do we empower the police? How do we fund the military more? How do we make sure we have better benefits? These are the kind of conversations I want to have. Not, oh, you know, who spills more ethnic bigotry than the other group. It just doesn't make sense. But anyways, I'll pull back into my list. I didn't come with violence as we typically do as obedience. I brought an olive branch. But then again, hey, look, I'm here for Bolek Aja. Back to you guys. What does that mean? You're here for Poletaja. Did it go? Did it go? Did it go? Naked and fight. Naked and fight. Ah ah. Oh, um. <laughs> I, 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 uh, Akin, I give you, I give it to you. Uh, but uh, you cannot, uh, you can, you cannot fire, a, you cannot fire a shot and quench it on its way to its target. You said you're not going to recount history. When you made mention of uh, uh, obedient didn't fire, uh, burn down Nigeria, they didn't do this. And P2B and uh, uh, the Dati Ahmed were the only, only, only um, uh, 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 pol uh, politicians, core politicians in obedient. Without P2B, they will not be ob obedient. P2B is OB. So obedient was is uh, was named after his name. So without P two B, the mob will still be going around the street. So now, well, let us go down to the history you fired, saying the the bond CPC bondies and that and all that, and people will run away. Especially the younger generation will run away. No, the party of P two B, PDP, the party of P two B is a core PDP man. The party of P2B set Nigeria ablaze. So, if you are pointing finger there at CPC, you will remember that P2B party under uh, yeah, uh, uh, what is it? Adamu Shiroma and uh, Alawa Were the people that said, should Jonathan become government without allowing nothing else? PDP, not CPC, not Buhari that they will make the government ungovernable. That was a statement of PDP, P2B's political party. That was P2B's political party. So when you are firing this shot, saying uh, CPC, and trying to dodge it, uh, to, you know, to mellow it down by saying you're not, no, we are going to recount the history. So P2B did not come out as obedient. He came out as a PDP man. Me is not my story. I told you. I told you, say, it goes to Tonto Wahala. Because my own time is almost rounding up, by the way. And I still have like about three stuffs I want to share with you quickly before I take calls, right? Let's just fast forward it to where the Wahala started, okay? Because Wahala don't start now. Somebody don't go, don't go touch history. It's to where we say, some no like. Now, so Wahala started, though. Please. People will have their, oh, people will have their yeah. rights to express yeah. themselves. I'm saying the name now. What's this I'm not allowing me speak now. Any person that wants to speak here that has the mic. I'm not allowing me speak now. What's going on? Oh, no. 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 Oh, if he does not have respect for his parents, he should not come and rub it on me. Wait, you are bringing my parents. Are you mad? Wait, wait, giving two problem makers calls. Wait, this president. Wait, <laughs> 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 Wait, wait. Let's let let us, all, let us all calm down. Let us all calm down. We are doing exactly what we are preaching against here, which is 
intolerance for dissenting opinions or dissenting voices. They are doing it. People will have. What shall I say unto the Lord? Yes, Lord. All I have to say. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, all of na where they you know all of na where they do na we versus them in IPOB or outside IPOB. Don't try and put word in my mouth. Do you understand? I just saw one weary now that dropped a comment and said, "My ego is misrepresenting what uh, MNK said." Abori buruku fe ba ofe shuri buruku ni. So I played what he said. All of them I hear what he said. Now wait till me, I talk. That is what is important to you. I know a lot of you have been doing a lot, trying to drag me into your, you know, into your deluded uh, nonsense where you have uh, chosen faction against yourselves. Some people sold them NK. Now this one sold them. Now that one sell them. Now this one sell them. Eko ribruku yisibu. Eko I have told you. It is only when the man himself is finally out. Eh? I, Mayegun, I will actually ask him himself. Everywhere. You know what I mean? Like they're embarrassing themselves everywhere. Bringing shame to a noble cause. Now they do mad. They do madness everywhere like, like, like lunatics. Don't, don't come here and put words in my mouth. Do you understand? African Wala. Eh? Please help me look around, okay, with your spanner, especially on that YouTube. When you see those Lori Brukus that are here doing their usual, okay, we versus them, they are supposed to be the same Biafrans, oh. Here you get. But when you look at them attacking themselves, they always look for where to attack themselves, where to show themselves that we are the original. We are the one loyal to Kanu. We are the one for Ekori Bruku Yidanu. See, the African Wahala, if you see any of them here, as many as possible. But me last pan among For the past uh, 30 months, when I don't they try, 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 drag me. Am I going? Why don't you say something about that? Uh, you want me to say something you can quote. Now you have come here. Eh? My ego is misrepresented. Abulori Brukunieni. She they tell you say I get comprehension problem. Eh? Let me put spanner, ban last spanner more. Anybody where you see the OTS, once they start out their IPOB versus IPOB on that platform, eh? Let me knock spanner on. They are those who have brought, uh, they, are, they have done so well to bring disrepute, to bring shame to all this uh, struggle. If you think we don't see you, anyway, let's go to the next one, Jerry, talking about referendum, Abby. This afternoon, I shared something with you. As I said, what they are locking Namdikanu up for? Now, those who participated in the destruction of Nigeria here and there, they don't they talk, say, may we do a referendum, may we do a new constitution, may we discuss Nigeria. Now, why are they still keeping, I mean, still keeping the man? Listen to these ones. They use the occasion in honor of the memory of the late renowned constitutional lawyer, Ben Mwabeze, to address the current challenges faced in the country. The present 1999 constitution as amended not only lacks the legitimacy that flows from a democratically made constitution has proved to be unsuitable for tackling many of the serious challenges currently confronting our country. Two federalism, two federalism, they give them power, they won't do anything. Two federalism will die. Is there any two federalism again in South South? Now they could okay. You not come, if you need a president, any change? Professor Mike Ezekoma, SAA, in a keynote, raised some fundamental questions bordering on the referendum, which he explained will allow the people make their inputs rather than the 1999 constitution 
imposed on them by the military. Nigerians must own their own constitution through a popular referendum of the people like was done to the Midwest Constitution on the 10th of August 1963 when it separated from Western region. Without that, we will just be on a journey to no destination. In reaching a common ground, it was unanimously agreed by the dignitaries present that there is a need to set the template for a constitutional amendment by interfacing with the National Assembly members to pass a bill on establishing a National Referendum Commission, which President Bola Ahmed Tinubu can assent to. There is therefore a dire need for a people-oriented constitution which will be subjected to a national referendum and will be self-enforcing. Lie, na lie, na lie, na lie you lie. Every time you see them like that, eh? When they say Walaita lie, eh? Walaita lie. Tell them, say, na lie you lie, na call you told us. Sure you get. Thank you, Jare uh, Kinsley Ogeriaki. I believe I pronounced that right, yeah? Ogeriaki. Aye. Some powerful being in him there, right? Now, that is my other brother, uh, which is uh, the E, you know, E85. Always there. You know what I mean? Uh, all ail Biafra, all ail old Dua. See, Baba, I know they pay mind to them. Do you understand? But some of these things are pretty much embarrassing. Brothers fighting brothers. Supposed brothers every AK day. Eh, my yegun, now them sell our leader. Now this one sell our leader. Now that one, eh, kushitan, ke, 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 kuri, bruku, sibu. Eh? We are going to disclose who sold our leader tomorrow. Next tomorrow, we are going to, you, are, you have created so much within yourselves and everywhere you see yourselves. We now they fight for, we now they fight for validation. Now we be correct one. My yegun don't talk to those ones. Eh, they kill you know? Eh? And some of you are actually like, Dots. You are not kids. Everywhere on social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every AKD, every small time. You know, they know they tell you now, now know they use in a sense. So don't bring that to me, okay? When I see comments like that, I will tell you straight up. You get me now? I will tell you straight up. And I don't give a fuck about you. That offends you. Fine. You understand? So don't bring that closer to me, okay? I have uh, invested enough, right? Time and energy. To make people understand that your division is not in anybody's interest. The division among those who knows the rotten system called Nigeria. Your rivalry, your division is stupidity. You're fighting a monster, a generational monster. Do you think uh, when they talk about uh, the system in Nigeria, you think they are talking about one man or two men? They're talking about the conglomeration of all rogues who, who make the system. So you don't you think you need yourselves? Every smart thing. Anyway, African Wala, well done. To battle any of them, once they start their IPOB rivalry, once you see them ban last panam or lori, doesn't matter if one of them is your friend. Anybody that miss you, get rid of them. You know, I've done my best all this while to make sure that they don't, they don't find the fatal ground here. Other places that you that's comfortable for you. Shengbo. Now, Arek Bemugbo is promoting parliamentary I mean, parliamentary uh, system of government, parliamentary system of government. After spending eight years as governor, eight years as minister, now this uh, democracy, this federal system of government in Nigeria is not sustainable. Nigeria needs a parliamentary system of government where everybody go run their own affair on their own. I want to come out. Eh? The first motion is, a, is, is about democratic representation. We have been talking about form of government, constitution. How do we elect people to the parliament? Yes, globally, what we have is what we do in Nigeria. I see a fault. I see an error in it. People are elected based on residence. And if we give it more than life, we are disconnected. Yes, in the traditional society, residents to be a forum of a relationship, of engagement. In modern life, it is not. We are united more by production, through production. 
So he therefore seeking appropriate democratic representation. Let us look at production as a basis of representation. That's my first submission. I may not, I mean, I'm not an expert on both sides. I have two lessons. And we have a plan for representation. The answer is no. People are engaged more in production. In the platform, let us seek out to find a way of presentation that will ensure that productivity, production, productive act, and those engaged in production in several forms, services, are the are, 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 are. of our greedy leaders. Oh, Tonda, where are you? This is the time you are supposed to strike. Strike so that you eliminate all of them, so that you are pressing our nation. Or join them in one aeroplane, so that it will crash land in the course of the Adon. Father, Father, Lord, Amen. Anyway, that is me. Oh, somebody actually took that to heart, right? Because of me talking like that. Oh, my ego, you are losing your cool. Ignore the oh. Uh, it's like you are new, Abby. You are new here. I don't think you are. Eh? Just understand that every every face I make is for the message and is for the, you know, everybody will get the message, go get them. When I'm supposed to put on a smile, I'll put a very beautiful smile on that. You'll be like, where you are, you'll be grinding like. I just don't like it when, uh, you know, grown-ups, right, who are supposed to understand the importance of a struggle, right, continue to trivialize it on, on trivialities. I don't, I don't like that, all right? And I do my best to stay away from it. It doesn't benefit anybody. And so far, so good, it has never benefited anybody. You know that. I don't want to be the one to judge whatever anybody wants to believe. I just don't want you to bring them to me or begin to quote me. Oh, my ego, you are misrepresented. I will already get a comprehension problem. I will go by down on it. The broke song. Anyway, Sha, my time is so up. So I'm going to go make uh, another fresh cup of tea. Eh? Oh, my, you know, go believe I'm. See, there are some of these lunatics, right? They actually, eh, they actually said it. Uh, you know, they said, uh, it's the Igbos. Listen to this one. They said, that shit, you see that my ego, that one that is, uh, you know, uh, uh trying to, is a Yoruba man, but he's trying to be like, it will pretend that he loves the ego because the Igbos go to his platform to go and give him super chats. You won't believe how, how stupid some of these people can be. Ridiculous. Grown ups. He's a Yoruba man. I don't trust Yoruba man. I don't even understand why our people are going to his platform, like people like that here. Instead of all of us to go to the platform of uh, our Igbo, this, and support him, they always go to this Yoruba man, this. I have them here. I used to have them here. So when I feel like I no longer have all these Olori Brukus here anymore, those ones who are seeing it, you know, imagine somebody will say, oh my God, this is the first time I'm seeing a Yoruba man saying the truth. So you want me to now jump up and say, oh my God, look at this, uh, Igbo, this is my Igbo brother. Mm -hmm. He's seen a Yoruba man that is saying the truth for the first time in his life. And you want me to jump up, Abolori Brukunye. We know your type. We know you begotted wearies. And that is why the bigots among us, those ones who are bringing uh, shame to Yoruba land, the real Yoruba, some Olua beasts, they are calling them out as at when deal. So don't come, come here, come they hide behind Oh, it's like this. I'm not looking for your patronage. And I've told you, Igbos does not need anybody's pity. The reason why I will never stop pointing out the injustice and the victims of injustice in Nigeria is because one day, eh, they will come for my own people too. And when they did, eh, there will likely be nobody to speak for us anymore because they would have killed those. I mean, we would have joined them to all. We would have kept quiet because... The people they are they are targeting or profiling, they are not Yorubas. I mean, at least they are not Yorubas. What's our business? So I have told you this. If you are an Igbo man watching my ego, I am not doing this because I want you to, you know what I mean? Like, see me as somebody who loves Igbo so much. No, I do not love Igbos more than my own uh, Yorubas. I do not. But you know something? Eh? I love everyone that is human in the sense that when I see injustice anywhere, ah, ah, baba, 
You can count on me that I will speak about it passionately. Because one day, one day, I may be the victim. Eh? And if I keep quiet, there will be nobody to speak for me. So if you are an Igbo man watching my Yegun, I do not need your patronage per se. You know, when I say patronage, I do, I, I'm not saying, I'm not doing this because I want you to see me as a Yoruba man. No, no, no. Don't be daft. We are in a mess. The mess we are in, nobody is spared. Whether you are Yoruba, Usa, Igbo, Fulani, whatever it is, when you open your eyes clearly, you will realize that we are all in danger. So if I see somebody, whether they, whether they, whether they kill right now, I will just look away and say, oh, because it's not me. When they are done with them, they will come for me. Can't you think that? Eh? Well, I have seen some people where we say they'll be adults with, uh, you know, they then be children with adult uh, body. So don't come here and play all this, your dirty ethnic, religious. That's why I, I fire everything. And there's nothing I can talk about. Do you understand that? And if you have been paying attention, I'm not Fulani. I'm not uh, Ausa. I'm not Kanuri. I'm not from the North. I'm not a Muslim. But I've reported more of the injustice eh, that uh, the innocent people from Northern Nigeria have suffered. Does that make me a Fulani or make me an Ausa? So don't come here and say, ah, this is Yoruba, I don't need all your praises. Koko Shidano. All this, your bigotry and all of that, that is laced in. I'm just trying to praise you. Koko Shidano. Koko praises Shidano. The point here is this. If all of us know the danger we are in, we will, abandon, we will first of all, we will first drop all our ethnic, tribal, religious, and every other thing that they've used to divide us and face the danger we are facing because none of us is spared. Anyway, I'm going to make my tea because I don't use part of your time. The line will be opened. Okay? Now, this is, will be your time to call me in. Oh, yeah, well, pick up that phone. Call in. Don't type. Call in and say whatever you are typing there to my face. Call in and say it to my face. I'm not trying to scare you. You can say whatever you like, okay? And I will defend myself as I like too. Meanwhile, if you have to go, that's fine. For those who are waiting behind to be part of it, you know, to, to phone in, right? The line is open and I'm already seeing the calls coming through, but I need to make myself a fresh cup of tea. That may take me about two minutes. Is that all right? Of course it is. We'll be back. That's right. Because I have used a lot of our time, so I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm just going to mix my juice, I'm sorry, my drink, and that's going to be half cup of tea as well as uh, a full can of uh, iron brew juice. So we'll mix that in the next one hour just to keep uh, hydrated. Here is my first caller tonight. Hello there. Can you hear me? Hello, brother. Hello, sir. How are you, brother? Mm -hmm. 
Irumole, come here. Irumole, no. Ah, Irumole. I don't go drag some of you out tonight. It's going to be interesting night. How are you, Baba? How are you, my baby? Oh, how are you? How you doing? I am very well, Baba. Surviving. How is the family? How is my dad and my children? How are they? We give God the glory, Baba. We thank God. Uh, firstly, as I always the talk, every me thank my dad and the children. Yes. At least for them to give you that chance, that time, Baba. Uh, most of people within Nigeria, maybe say I didn't insult anybody, you mm. understand me? They know they know as they go. You know why? Mm. Because this kind of job, couple with family, Baba, even me, we are going to do this kind of thing. I don't go lie for you, Baba. Baba Sometimes I just look, say, let me see, I won't lie to you. Now, only one boy I get, to, no, my daughter don't grow. Uh -huh. I they imagine people will get like two, three, four. See how then they cook. Sometimes, and that boy would do something. I would say, oh, more. See, I never carry my load wrong. Come on for us for this boy, God. This kind of thing, just so. I did tell you. I know. Well, not superhuman. We just uh, go around no. it. You know, no, ni, like, no, 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 I know she will be the one taking care of the, of the family. So it's not to, easy. Yeah, yeah know, it's know. not easy at all. No, here it's not like Nigeria that you can easily get with uh, what they call Somebody it. Uh, and nephew feeling. Here you have to pay extra. So, but, you do know. Baba, mm -hmm. tight man, that if they tell you price, I don't go lie for you. Mm. Nobody will tell you, say, oh, more. you need to create time more. Oh. I they tell you. So, Baba, thank you very much for the good job. I just I call me, I appreciate you. Yesterday, I tried to call him. Now, only one thing I just want chipping. I just want chipping that yesterday. You see, in terms of that killing, you understand me, it's a very big shame hmm, to someone like Good Luck Jonathan. A very big shame to him. Well, they know the shame person is the shame as they talk. Oh, they say you can't shame no get, shameless. Now, so they can't shame the shameless because how imagine you can just imagine how soldier yeah. could just go kill hundred people. But uh, see, at the only they ask all these things with the apple. You know, some even the countries where war day. You know, some you know if you just say, say, okay, fine, war this one way, then just kill hundred people unnecessarily. Nothing. I tell you, no. That's when I type in this and I say, is there any country called Nigeria? Make anybody tell me. No, it's true. Because there's no country called Nigeria. We are just deceiving ourselves. And that big, sorry to use that word on your on your program, call himself Asari. Mm -hmm. We are sorry they when they kill hundred people. You know, you know, come out. No, for now. Was, for now, maybe, was, maybe in the set the now, camera. Hmm? It's still the set the camera. Me, up to now, this pig never open my talk anything. Tomorrow you go come and you go say, ah, watch your back, oh. If then they come, I go run past you. Uh -huh. But you know where will they pay toll gate for airport for uh -huh. international airport for the good international airport. Uh -huh. eh? As I already know if you run from that toll gate. Eh? To that car park. I think maybe it's just a metaphor that he's got his boys that can carry him or get him to escape than some of us. We all those uh, Asawana, 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 within Asawana, the life of the Asawana, Asawana. Where are they when they are killing 100 people in Niger Delta? Or where did it happen? Is it not in Delta? It is Delta, South South Niger Delta. Delta. Then they went on to Bayelsa. Ogbo, Ogboro, Ogboro, do do something in uh, community, something like that. Ogboro, Ogboro, Mad or something. Like that peak, go come out, go open up. Asawana, Asawana, Asawana. In knowing, I can open the door. I no, Baba, beg, beg, they cast me away. May I leave you? 
Yeah, just go for my head. I know. Thank I you know. very Thank much. You. Thanks man. so much that's for calling in, okay? Yeah, you yeah good bye. Good Thank you. Good night. Nice, yeah. nice one. So that's uh, a room model. Okay. Here is another uh, caller on the line. I hope I got it. <laughs> Hello there. My brother. Hello, my brother. Oh, is that Ahmed? Yeah, I'm going to finish it. I am very well, Lo Baba. So, no. Yeah, yeah, day. Barika, day. Barika, Barika, now. Yeah, uh, yeah, gila, yeah, iki. Pona, day, wa. Ali, I'm doing it live, my dala. Yeah, jinda, uh, uh, did I actually get that right? Yeah, you got, you got it right, bro. You got it right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, jinda. How are you? Hello, last year, hello. You can't go. You can't go. Now here we I are. Think, I think I think I think I think I think I think I kill. I well, think I kill. I am to the lie. I am to the lie. Yeah, uh, yeah Kai, uh, you get him. Yeah. You know what I said? I said you are doing a good job. And I said, said I am to the lie. Right? <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, yeah, you are there. Like, uh, <laughs> that's right. It's more. Yeah, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. right. yeah. alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we thank God. Yeah. You need to come so, down yeah. in August, okay, to the Yoruba Union Conference that will take place around there, Baba. You need to put it in your own district. Eh? My world hopefully, will never start then. Hopefully, Please. hopefully, hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know hopefully the nature of the thing. I just somebody who is like yeah, a song. I just, mm -hmm. yeah, I just got. I even just got back uh, on the uh, weekend. I just got back. So are you in the Poland. states now? You are in the states now, right? Yeah, I'm back home right now. I'm back home. We just go back. Thank God. Oh yeah. I enjoy, mean, I enjoy, didn't. Enjoy I didn't. I didn't. Anyway, I'm it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't get to watch the. Uh, I just came in the house right now. Oh. I didn't get to watch it's the program. So, it's been you know? so. so nice. I'm telling you, I've missed, I have missed. I have missed. I have missed. I have missed. I have missed this program a lot. I have missed a lot. I mean, but you know. We, not no no we stand we will still contribute we one way or the other exactly now at least there are other there yeah, are we others will so follow me too now hit me up of man. course go on of course so my even about the the because i watched the video of uh, the burning and stuff that they did in uh, uh south east Okwama people right uh, is this outside yeah all those people you know and i've been on internet i've been you know like looking at different stuff, yeah, people's yeah. reaction, you know, and um, most of my northerners, my people from the north, uh -huh. I have I have engaged a lot of them. We engage a lot, you know. We so pay, who are calling, as in, who are calling for the yeah. cleansing of these people. I met. Yeah, uh, I, met. I was like, uh, I met. but you know, we still have See this. You know, uh, I met. May I ask you something? There's something on your screen. Yeah. yeah. These are the yeah, soldiers yeah, that see. died in uh, yeah. in what they said is uh, the ambush or attack on the soldiers in yeah. But do you know that yeah. we have now discovered that uh, the spot is actually like a bunker site. The water, the river, there. Eh, with different my even, uh, my even, eh? my even, now where are they carry you go? Now you go carry me go <laughs> there. Before you carry me, eh? you can explain we this go. to me. This one on your screen, right? <laughs> How mm -hmm. did uh, all these northerners in one fell swoop mm -hmm. became a battalion that is guiding oil bunkery and stealing of crude oil in the axis of Niger Delta? And they are from the north. About all of them died. Tell me why this makes sense uh, in the military. Well, I know you probably will tell me it doesn't make any sense. You know, but why come that those who have that. never been to an area, who didn't come from a particular area, they are those they moved down to those areas. Uh, so that they could easily carry out uh, their attacks because they have no connection. So why, Ahmed? Now let's go back there. My own, you see everything about Nigeria is untrue. Hmm. Take it or leave it. Everything about Nigeria is untrue. So if you see something, there is more to it. Hmm. If you see any news that is coming out from that place, there is more to it. Most especially when it comes to security aspect like this mm. there are some hidden things that only them know maybe we can just then we will now get to understand like the, the, the front page just to have a context not the book, mm. just to have a context of what it consists 
Because now you call these people falling hero. How are they falling hero? How? What happened? You're not even asking questions like what happened? How did they what were they doing there? Who gave the order? You understand? Ask questions like what were they looking for in that spot? What was going on in that spot? And were they That's actually killed by been. the civilian of uh, Okwama? The, or exactly. so if they were killed by the civilians of Okwama, how come the same military trace a militant leader to Bayelsa? Where they killed the people there, for the same reason? The, exactly, ah. exactly. You know, they will always find some. They will always find something, someone to take the blame. You know, they will never be the ones to take the blame. Never. They will never be the ones to take it because. They know what they always plan. They, they know where they are heading to. The place that you have never heard of, one shit, any any kind of bad thing, or we know that those places, uh, Bunkery, all those kind of things goes on there, and soldier and the civilians over there, and at yes. the same job, they do up. it hand to hand. And then they run up. Mm -hmm. What happened? Kilo fa, kilo shele, la anyone. Auto pass 16 soldiers, kilo shelle. What happened? Like kilo happen, gong gong. And, kilo you happen, know, gong gong. in fact, what you know what they told us as well, Ahmed. Eh? You asked. know what they told us is before they told us that 16 soldiers have been killed. Do you know that this military mm. have been going back and forth in that place and they have been there uh, killing people starting from the day they called they the meeting? Baba, they've killed the over 100 soldiers. people already that's before they told us that they have killed soldier. 16 soldiers. That's 16 soldiers. When they were killing, they were killing over there. Go go near Ujadin. Ujadin sit down until they went to now. When they don't break the news, thing, right? so now they they look for who won't take the blame. So they will look. Do, do you know that the same day where those things happened, a day before, they killed about seventy soldiers in Meduguri. They displayed their body. How ah, many villages right, were so they left? They exhumed the body of about, uh, I think, uh, uh, how many so I mean, how many soldiers many somewhere in, uh, I think, in Portaco Abiba, Yelsa, too, Baba. David, oh dear, continue, Ahmed. My ego, I told, I was on this, I was on this, I was telling, I said, you guys don't reason. You guys, they use your head every single day, and this is how you guys going to continue being. You will continue to go inside your room. How will they kill people in North East? Same soldiers that they kill over 70 soldiers in North East. And it is they not clear any house. Clear and the communities are not raised down or burned down. Right. Excuse me, my make I even speak out as more. I'm clear in so you can I'm clear in so you put some sabay in and not east. Babu get a gender aka owner. Babu wanda aka kama. Babu wanda aka peshi. Where ankesha so you do that woman shah shida. A south south. Where I should go where I clearing a whole community. Uh -huh. Community meter cash so judge, who can send me so judge sick hour? Meaning sixteen soldiers can sick hour and couldn't have them questions. And so on, come up with social media and she answers so judge, whom I couldn't agenda. I and she got a level of this. How could I uncle you only one generation in a nation of Kumanjo or Kodengo politician are playing uncle every single day? Swear. Who they have come out of Kodengo, you who couldn't have Kuna Zua social media, Kuna, you who they should leave these people alone. Mm -hmm. And not east. I'll not uh I'll not west and uh and then not central mutani no atakeshi akaduna alone yara no atakwasa in in the space of how many weeks uncle shiara sent four hundred and I take it napping. Would I know akaji ake leveling? Mutani no akashi gadaji akaji ake leveling. A masi suzomu kudo and when you buns and stole it again, south south, go no southwest. Old school, school East, Kuma Kuringa Jubilate and Kuna Jinda in Chewa and are clearing this. Are you guys mad? Bakuda Hunker, ask them. Bakuda Tinani, Anjima Seko Shegida, Kufaro Chewa, Kuna Kuna Sala Kuna Salati. When you're in Sala, the Salati, then the Manapati, you want a high Munapati, Napatan Hunker, you put you want a Baba Hunker, you at least. Coca and one Russian Hunker, you need. Kuma will lie to see a light and you could take a noon, will lie to see a light and you. So, 
Dranen da aka kashe mutane 16 a south a north east din fa an kashe sojoji sun fi gudanawa me akai kun ce ba kwa san iya mare ba san iya mare ko ba su su tafi mana session ne alhamdulillah kowa ya tafi kowa ya je zaman shi najeriyan ta rako kowa ya tafi iya mare su tafi eh jarbawan su tafi hausawan kowa ya rabu a je a zauna lafiya ba kwa san mutane kuma kuna son ku ci gaba da you want them in the same country ba kwa san su wannan wani irin rashin hankali ne kuma same an siyasan da kuke sa su sai kuke sa ku cikin wannan matsalan kuna bin sa gidan gidan ni sai campaign ya zo ku bisu thank you so much for sticking to this video to the end like i said before now it's time for us to go to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion say what you think about this video and this platform do it constructively share this video like subscribe and also continue to watch linda's tv show because this is the home of news until i see you again in my next video remain blessed for now i would say bye bye